Hello and welcome to In The Know, where we provide the print industry with analysis of key government legislation that will affect print, whilst providing you with expert analysis on key sector trends, new technologies and maximizing the effectiveness of your operation. Now, we want to thank our amazing sponsor for this bulletin, Antalis, which is not only one of the industry's favorite paper suppliers, but also a company that consistently delivers innovation and sustainable solutions across multiple industries. Antalis have an excellent cyclist offset range, which are made up of 100% recycled papers. By choosing cyclists, you can reflect your commitment to the environment to your customers. Authentic yet thoroughly modern, that helps to reinforce your brand and message and your customers. Cyclist is the perfect combination between giving sense and quality, using meaningful media, visibly recycled with an outstanding combination of sustainability and quality. The range is carbon balanced as standard by Intalis via the World Line Trust, making your business stand out with Cyclist, an internationally renowned and trusted brand. Before we begin and bring you critical updates in regards to government legislation that could affect your business, later in the bulletin. We speak to Tim Percival about new opportunities for printers with paper. Fujifilm speeds up the Jet Express, Tharston launches the Sustainability Show, and paper evolves to meet new opportunities. The recent government moves to mitigate the energy crisis and inflation for business has been welcomed, but many business groups, including ourselves, are calling for it to go further to ensure that our industry and others can remain competitive and has time to recover from pandemic damage. IPI member Compass Business Finance has risen to the challenge in the meantime and produced a guide which you can check out at the link below. It advises on the practical steps and ideas for your business that you can take to take matters into your own hands and here are some of the highlights from its report and advice. So to kick off, Compass advises printers to get fully acquainted with the government's energy support scheme and ensure you are being covered by it properly and that your provider is supporting you. For further information or clarification, please visit the link below on screen and make sure that you are fully up to speed on all of the details. Compass also advise that now is the time to invest for efficiency and review all your manufacturing processes. Whilst temporary energy caps preferable tax incentives and financial support schemes are available, suppliers of equipment have shown considerable interest in working with customers to assess what changes could be made, and they are seeing an increase in solutions that put the long-term survival of the business at the heart of the buying process. Compass also strongly advised doing research into investing in energy generation technology, such as solar panels. They also highlight that wholesalers and retailers are now considering green credentials when choosing their suppliers, and therefore installing solar panels not only reduces business overheads, but also has reputational advantages, helping their customers meet their sustainability and net zero targets. Compass also highlight that utilizing asset finance for soft assets such as solar, CHP, LED lighting upgrades, waste compactors, and air compressors lines also enables businesses to gain access to funding whilst also preserving cash to support the business through the current economic challenges and uncertainties. So please do check out that report. Now, I recently spoke to Tim Percival from Antalis, who gave us a great overview of current trends and their fantastic new Digibox tool to assist print businesses to meeting the demands of buyers who want print to help them stand out in a very crowded marketplace. So within the uh, digital print area, Clearly, the, the choice of substrate is wide and varied. What we want to do at Antalys is help our customers to do what they do, but better. So enabling our customers to make informed decisions about the substrates they can use for their digital print uh, applications, absolutely critical. There's nothing better than a tactile sample to actually demonstrate that. And what the Digibox does is actually present all our products to a customer in a concise sampling tool. We've produced about 2,000 of these and we've earmarked the initial allocation to customers that have digital production kits, and they're actually being rolled out at the moment. So the Digibox project has been huge within Antalys. It's been 12 months getting to this position. Um, we've been collaborating with the lead OEMs and also some very um, prominent digital print customers. And actually the remobilization of our sales force 
post-pandemic to get the guys out in front of customers presenting something that's really impactful to customers is, is actually really rewarding. And the, the initial feedback we're getting from the customers that received the Digibox has been incredibly positive. I'd just like to say that the Digibox, whilst it is a sampling tool that it, we, we are presenting to customers and leading with customers at this moment in time, it doesn't end there. And we've got a whole campaign planned for 23 about continually revisiting and updating and refreshing the contents of the Digibox, which we'll be briefing the uh, anti-sales people on um, early next year. Thank you so much for your time, Tim. Very informative. Since Fujifilm launched the original JetPress 720 in 2011, upgraded models and enhanced functionality have been a continual feature of its development. From the launch of the JetPress 720S in 2014 to the arrival of the JetPress 750S in 2018 and the JetPress 750S high-speed model in 2021. More than 10 years after the first iteration of Fujifilm's flagship B2 Ink JetPress, it has continued to listen to market demands and the needs of its customers to make the JetPress even more versatile and flexible so that it can be used for a greater number of print jobs, in addition to its well-known ability to produce the ultimate industry-leading print quality. As a result, the company is introducing a new high-value mode, which offers a third production option in addition to the high-quality and high-performance modes already available. It prints at the same resolution as high-quality mode, 1200 by 1200 DPI native resolution, but without the need for rapid coagulation primer. In addition to the new high value mode, Fujifilm is also introducing the option of increased feed and delivery stack heights to the JetPress 750S. Tharsten has released their latest Tharsten TV series, available at the link below. It focuses on carbon footprinting for printers and converters. Working alongside Carbon Quota and print provider Gecko, Tharsten has put together three episodes to give printers a helping hand to reduce their carbon footprint. Becoming more sustainable is a topic at the very forefront of many people's minds these days, but a lot of businesses still aren't sure whether they should venture down this path just yet. If the return on investment is going to be there, and indeed how on earth they're going to get started. The Sustainability Show addresses this and helps viewers learn how starting their decarbonization journey could help them reduce costs, bring them more customers, and lower their environmental impact too. Check it out. It's a very good watch. Finally, Antalis has announced towards the end of 2022 that it would be strengthening its product offering for its customers following its acquisition of a large portfolio of well-renowned brands from its former supplier, Arjo Wiggins Scotland Limited. The new Olin design range will be announced shortly, with first deliveries beginning in early February 2023. Olin Design will continue to offer a wide range of finishes and shades suitable for both offset and digital printing. It will extend its reach to colored items offering with the integration of pop set assortment and will continue to include a large range of assorted envelopes. In addition, Antalus have run many printing tests and are extremely confident that Olin will deliver the exceptional printing quality consistent with the brand's reputation. Regarding the other major brands relaunch, we have Conqueror, Key Color, Curious, Reeves and Opal. They are expecting to announce their full new range of creative papers by the end of January for deliveries in February and March 2023. Thank you so much for watching In The Know. Please do stay safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.